Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do today is set up the Trezor Safe 5. So if you guys haven't seen already, I did a complete unboxing video of this device. So we even have our little shell. So it's really cool. And I've got a couple of things set up. So this is the actual cable. I'm going to use one that's a little bit longer just for tutorial purposes. So when you are setting up yours, make sure to use the cable that comes in the box. So I did want to mention that also, if you guys want, go to the link tree, click on Trezor. So maybe this will be updated by the time you're watching. I also just wanted to say thank you to the Trezor team for sending me this hardware wallet. Um, so this was given to me for review. But of course, as you guys know, I'm not going to uh, be biased in any regard. I give you guys my authentic, honest opinion. Um, as someone that's owned the Trezor Model T and the One, so I guess we could even check it out on the overhead. Um, this is one of their first wallets. I love it. And the Model T, I've been swearing by it for a long time. Um, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is open up the Get Started sheet. And it wants us to go to trezor.io forward slash start. So we're going to type that in here. So it's going to be trezor.io forward slash start. So if we go here on the screen, this is what we're going to see. And ultimately, we want to download the desktop app. Okay, so if you guys haven't done this already, make sure to do that. I've already got this downloaded as I have um, other wallets that I use. So this is what it will look like. Um, so definitely have that ready to go. And also make sure you have your seed phrase ready. So this is going to be something that we're going to want to have ready as well. So this we're probably not going to need right now, but we will definitely be writing down our words. So when you are setting up your hardware wallet, you're going to want to do that. So make sure that you guys do that, set it up properly. Um, and again, use code moose save up to 25% off. So we're gonna open up Trezor Suite. Again, download this, very simple and easy to do. I'm just gonna open this up on my desktop. So just to give you guys a little idea here. So this is what I see on my screen. So here I can start update. You wanna make sure that you're using the latest update, very important. So if it asks you to do that, just do that very swiftly. There we go. So new version, currently we're on 24.6.3. Um, and what we're gonna do is simply connect our device. So we're gonna connect this to our computer. This is the say five and let's get it connected. So I've never connected this before. It even says here, get started with your Trezor at trezor.io forward slash start. So this is what we see on screen. And I'm definitely going to be using this wallet in the future. So I'm probably just going to have to edit and post and, you know, blur out some words if they're shown on screen. Um, but I'll do my best to hide that. So what data do we collect? Allow anonymous data collection. Um, how about we don't do that? Uh, I'm not trying to get loose on that. So there we go. Set up my Trezor it takes around 20 minutes. So so device security check, et cetera. Let's just go to set up my Trezor firmware installation. So your Trezor is shipped without firmware. Install the latest firmware. So let's install it. You're gonna to wanna to do this right away. Um, so the thing about Trezor that I do like is that they've been around for so long, right? You're talking about the Trezor Safe One. This is something that, you know, you can't even um, have specific assets on here like even Cardano. So it's really nice to um, see the progression of this wallet. So we're already at 94%. There we go. Also, make sure that if you're getting loose, you want to have some coffee, do not spill it. So got to be somewhat responsible. So there we go. Restarting Trezor. And if we take a look, so we're going to be doing a lot of back and forth. I want to feel this haptic feedback. Moose wants to get loose here. So on screen, it says continue. I guess we can zoom in for you guys there. So let's check your device. 
So again, this is what I currently can see with the device. Start, confirm on Trezor. So what I do like about these hardware wallets is that you're gonna want to confirm with the device. So um, typically when you're setting up, it's much more secure as well. So authenticate device, allow connected computer to confirm. So swing up, tap to confirm, boom. So congrats, your Trezor C5 is ready to go, continue. So now it says continue to Trezor. So we're gonna go back to Trezor. We're just gonna tap to start, um, get started, swipe up. Easily navigate, swipe up and down to move through the screen. So exit tutorial, just hold. Okay, so that feels pretty cool. Um, so that's to approve transactions, I assume, as well. You're all set to start the device. Swipe up. So this is what I currently see on the screen. This is what I see right now. So we're just going to swipe up. And tutorial completed, it says, on the screen. So right now, I'm just getting a little bit of green on the device. But it does have that nice haptic feedback. Not right now, but at specific moments. So we're going to continue. In here, you have a couple of options. So let's say that you lost your safe five or another hardware wallet. What you can do is click recover wallet. And all you're gonna do is import these words. The way a hardware wallet works and why it's better than something like a hot wallet. Um, number one, it's non-custodial. So you own your seed phrase, these words. These words are an encrypted version of your private keys. So basically, if you ever lose your device, it's fine. Just make sure that you have your words backed up. These words are more important than the device itself, specifically when you um, get into um, having thousands of dollars in your portfolio. So keep that in mind. So we're going to create a new wallet, but in the case that you have to recover, you can do that here as well. So create a new wallet. Here we're gonna do, so you have multi-share. We're just gonna do single share backup generates a single set of 20 words. Let's do 20 words. Um, it's 12, 15 for Cardano, 20, 24. It's 20 on this one. Create new wallet. So what's cool is that if somebody is trying to re screen record me, um, which I'm screen recording, of course, uh, for the tutorial, but what's cool for the device typically is that nobody can see what's on this particular screen. So by continuing, you agree. So we're just gonna swipe up and we're gonna to hold to confirm. So that's really nice, they did a good job with that. And I assume the words will be showing up on the screen. So this is what I see on my desktop, or you know, if you're using a laptop, you can do that as well. So swipe up, backup needed. So there we go, wallet successfully created. So we successfully created our wallet, so now we need to back up. So even on here, it says backup wallet needed. Okay, so we're going to continue to back up. Okay, so your wallet backup lets you recover your funds, so check that. Never take a picture, of course, we're doing a tutorial, but that's obvious, so never share your words with anybody. If I do show it at all during this tutorial, I'm going to blur it out, um, or I'm just going to create another wallet, so keep that in mind. Store your wallet backup, so we're gonna click that, create backup. Okay, so now on the screen, we are going to see our words, I assume. So never put your back, back up anywhere. So write the following 20 words down. So we're gonna get our pen and we're gonna write down these words. So I'm going to blur out the screen, but as you scroll, you're going to see different words. So you're gonna to want to back these up, meaning write them down and take your time. So what I'm gonna do right now is write down all of my words and you wanna do this properly, take your time. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And if you guys are doing this along with me, um, just know that I sped up the video a little bit. All right, so I just wrote down all of my 20 words. Honestly, felt like eternity. When you get done writing down your words, this is what you'll see. Um, so I'm definitely going to blur this out. Um, but uh, yeah, 
So that is how you back up your seed words and then you just wanna fold it and then put it away. So in case we still have to use our words, I will keep this out for now. I wrote down all my 20 words in order. So we're gonna confirm this and you really feel that haptic feedback. Let's do a quick check for your backup. So we're gonna swipe up and we're just going to check our words. Now it wants me to select word two of 20. And then it wants me to select word 12 of 20. So since I wrote it down, I can easily find that word. So now we swipe up and we are now setting up the pin. So here, wallet backup complete, continue to pin. So we're gonna wanna set up a pin, um, set pin. And we're gonna do this on the device. So this is what I see right here. Turn on pin protection, swipe up. So now we're gonna put in our pin. So I'm gonna choose one that I would use. Now it's processing. Pin protection turned on. So we're gonna swipe up and pin set. There we go, we've successfully backed up our words and we set our pin. Now that we've done that, we can now select some assets that we wish to um, have displayed in our wallet. So we got Bitcoin, Litecoin. We're definitely gonna to wanna to have a Bitcoin. Um, we're gonna have the major ones. XRP, sure. Solana, including tokens, cool. Uh, Polygon, not bad. So we're just gonna to go to complete setup. I'm sure we can add more of those later. There we go, so setup complete, edit suite name, and you guys know it's going to be Crypto Moose for now. So this may change in the near future. So here you could even edit the name, um, access suite. All right, so now we are going to go to standard wallet with no passphrase. So this is going to be the wallet that we just set up. And this will take a minute or two, so be patient. Um, it won't take that long. All right, so that is how you set up your Trezor Safe 5. I will have more videos in the future. Um, we're not gonna dive into that right now as I'm screen recording. It's gonna mess up with the software a little bit. Um, so that is a step-by-step -step guide. Um, stay tuned because I will be showing you guys how to send, receive, and do other things with your Safe 5. And if you guys want definitely check out the unboxing video to get a nice ASMR slash moose vibe. Um, so guys, go to the link tree. If you have not ordered your Safe 5 yet, I am very impressed. We'll see you in the next one.